Hey YouTube, it's me again. This is some more art progress. This is my official sketchbook number one, older drawings. And some of these I'm gonna skip through because they're just scribbles. Okay. This one, these aren't dated. I, At the time I didn't even think of dating them. But this is oil pastel, and as you can see it's all gloppy and stuff. I don't prefer to work with oil pastel. I think it's a bit messy, but anyway. I got bored one evening and I was like, well, I'm going to try to put eyeshadow on them. <laughs> but anyway, you can see the oil pastel, how it's kind of speckled and stuff. But anyway. This is another one. I think her skin tone turned out okay. I'm still working with perspective at this point. Still not dated. And some of this has a little bit of glitter paint on there, and there's eyeshadow on her again. But anyway, I think this one turned out all right. I mean, considering I'm still in kind of picking up the pace on drawing again. It's been a while. I mean, it's been a, maybe three years or something, maybe a little bit longer before I started picking up the pace on drawing again. Some of these just are either redos or whatever. Okay, Tall Man again, I showed you in my previous sketchbook. This one, he has a little bit of black felt marker on him, but this is darker lead. You can see where I was trying to learn how to blend and it wasn't going very good. But this is darker lead and this is lighter lead blended with uh, blending stumps. And I've learned also to use Kleenex that works just as good if not better than blending stumps and highlight highlighting with an eraser this one I think looks better of Angus Scrim this one is oil pastel and it again I was messing around and put eyeshadow on it like through here purple eyeshadow and dark eyeshadow but through here, you can see how the, the oil pastel is kind of goopy. I just don't prefer that kind of look, but I was trying to work with it. Some people, they can make oil pastels look gorgeous. I just don't have that kind of luck with oil pastels. I'm more of a colored pencil marker, uh, paintbrush kind of girl. But I don't do oil paints. To me, oil paints are way too messy. Excuse me. This one I think turned out good. This is uh, Penelope Cruz. And I found this picture of her in a magazine. And I just, I think she's so beautiful. But anyway, uh, this is just pencil. This is not black felt marker at all. This is a, a writing pen. This is just your lighter pencil that's blended and shaded. Maybe a little bit of gray pencil in it, uh, but no black pencil. And this is just your darker lead with a eraser straight through it for hair strands. This one, I don't even know who this is, but anyway, um, I did these a few, well, a few years back, but I'm still working on perspective, still working on trying to do hands, bend, bending of arms, making it look proportionate, and maybe a little bit of either marker or colored pencil, uh, maybe a little bit of gray pencil in her hair, but mainly it's just a regular pencil with eraser through it for hair strands. This one is, I think, looks really good when it comes to skin tone. The black felt pen really makes, if you're trying to make something look 3D, the black felt pen really makes everything kind of pop, so to speak. But this is your darker lead. This is uh, your lighter lead blended in with your darker lead. I have a art mechanical pencil and the lead is harder and darker. So that's what I probably use through here. And this is black felt pen and her eyes, 
her mouth, her nose, maybe underneath her eyebrows, but I think she turned out pretty good. Okay, Jack Nicholson, I just, man fascinates me. Anyway, this is Black Magic Marker, and gotta love him as a joker, right? But uh, this is just regular pencil, and with some gray pencil, uh, maybe some black pencil, and then your it's just blended and highlighted. You got your black felt pen in, in the eyes and around the eyes and the mouth, black magic marker. I think it turned out all right. have to excuse me I've just my anxiety is just getting to me today I'm okay though and then this is Eon Flex I love the movie Charlize Theron a great actress but anyway this is gray oil pastel still again I don't like that goopy look but uh, this is black oil pastel black pastel with some gray and some white and then I think what I did was colored pencil and then I overlaid it with oil pastel but uh, that's oil pastel in her eyes maybe a little bit of colored pencil underneath it and then your black felt pen but I think she looks I like her eyes especially this one I hadn't looked in this uh, sketchbook for a long time and uh, but this one cracks me up I love this one this one's hilarious but this has a little bit of black felt pen and I mean and if it is it's overlaid with a darker lead and in her hand her clothing maybe her mouth right through there maybe her eyes but not so much in her eyelashes and it's just darker lead that's blended with lighter lead and then you've got your uh, your eraser for hair strands but I think that one just turned out too cool Okay, and then this one, this doesn't have much black felt pen at all, maybe along through here, but this is your darker lead and this is your lighter lead with a eraser for hair strands and then just highlights on her body and such. And then this guy, this does, as you can see, has black felt pen throughout the fur. In his, in his eye, maybe in his clothing a little bit, but right through here especially. But this is a uh, darker lead with lighter lead, and it's just a lot of erase marks for fur markings, and then just blended and highlighted with an eraser. Okay. So that's all of sketchbook one. Thank you again. Have a good evening.